This is the anatomy of a typical neuron. So I'm going to be drawing, illustrating a multipolar neuron and showing you the things you want to be able to identify. So since it's a multipolar neuron, we do have many of these small dendrites coming off the cell body. So it's the cell body, which is also called the perikaryon, but I prefer cell body. This is the nucleus. These small regions, these little small short extensions are dendrites. And the dendrites are the receptive regions because they're going to receive the stimulus or the neurotransmitter. Then the cell body will taper into this funnel-shaped tapering structure that tapers into this axon that I'm drawing. And then the axon has a terminus, which can be referred to as the axon terminus or synaptic terminal. Either way is fine. It's at the terminus that the neurotransmitter is released. So we have neurotransmitter released here. The neurotransmitters in this unit are either going to be acetylcholine or norepinephrine that will come from axons. This structure is functionally significant. It's the region where the cell body tapers into the axon, and it is called the axon hillock. And it does have an important function or role in the generation of the action potential on the axon. So it is the axon that generates an action potential or nerve impulse. You can call it either one. And when the action potential is generated, it will be generated in this direction. So information flow across this neuron begins here at the dendrites where they receive the stimulus or neurotransmitter. Pass the information along the cell body, gets picked up by the hillock, and then picked up by the axon. So information flow goes from left to right, from dendrites to the terminus where ultimately the neurotransmitter is released. Now a couple more things. The axon, many times our axons are myelinated. So I am illustrating Schwann cells here. So these orange cells are Schwann cells. And the gaps in between the Schwann cells are called the nodes of Ranvier. So that gap right there where you have an exposed axon. Those are the nodes of Ranvier. And finally, one more thing, we have Nissel bodies here in the cell body. And Nissel bodies are just regions where we have a lot of rough ER located there to manufacture the neurotransmitters. So there are the things you want to be able to identify and label on a typical neuron.